Hello, Pioneers. Happy Monday. Thanks for tuning in to the ROTV News Show. I'm Joshua. And I'm Garrett. This school year is off to a great start. We've got plenty of things to tell you about today, so pay close attention. But first, let's see what's going on around the world. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs for their Super Bowl victory. The big game was watched by over 100 million people and included fiery performance from Shakira and Jennifer Lopez and a surprise from Bad Bunny. The score was 31 to 20. The United States began implementing stringent travel restrictions Sunday evening in an effort to contain the novel coronavirus outbreak that has so far killed more than 300 people in China and affected more than 16,600 worldwide. The plan which went into effect at 5 p.m. Eastern time includes temporarily denying entry to foreign nationals who visited China in the 14 days prior to arrival to the United States. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar said Friday, restrictions also apply to U.S. citizens who have been in China Hubei province, the epicenter of coronavirus outbreak in the two weeks prior to their return to the United States. Upon their return, those citizens will be subjected to mandatory quarantine of up to 14 days, he said. Staying informed about what's going on in the world, keep us up keep us on our toes. Let's see what is going around campus. Seniors, you're out of here in less than four months. If you want to end your senior year on a high note, then there's a few things you're gonna wanna participate in. First things first, the Grad Bash tickets will go on sale next Monday. They're $100, but the night is going to be one to remember. Prom tales, prom's ticket sales are coming up. Get them fast because the prices go up. The theme is Masquerade. Hello, my name is Raymond, and today we are going to talk about Hannibal Square and how it became known as Winter Park. In 1880, South Florida laid a track connecting Orlando to Sanford. Winter Park was built around that track. Hannibal Square in Winter Park was officially founded in 1881. Black families who lived in that area provided labor that built the town as well as domestic service to wealthy white families. This resulted in educational opportunities, prosperity, and professional standing for its black residents. Gus Henderson, a print shop owner railed black registered voters to cast their vote to make Winter Park an official city. The election, which occurred on October 12, 1887, incorporated the town of Winter Park in its boundaries. In March 2002, the first Heritage Day was hosted, and on April 28, 2007, Hannibal Square Heritage Center was open. I'm Raymond for ORTV. Oak Ridge is starting a lacrosse team. See WD Feeble if you are interested in playing. There are a dozen ways of, to get involved here at Oak Ridge. Teachers, please send your announcements to the morning show so your students can get involved. What's up? My name is Quentin James, and I'm here with ORTV um, class. The Melrose Library Center is free and it's excellent. It is versatile in technologies. They got an audio studio, um, you can take photos whole lot of good stuff things that I've never seen before in my life so just come down it's free get a library card and be a thing for now that's all the information that we have for you but keep us updated by filling out the news announcements form and subscribe to our channel Thank you for watching the ORTV News Show. Only at Oak Ridge High School, we are one team with one goal, pioneering our way to an A. Have a great weekend.